Hi guys, thanks for joining us here at Tooling Around. We've been talking tools and woodworking with Sons of Sawdust, but we have another special guest here that's going to help us talk about joining the team. Here's Rigid Power Tools Digital Marketing Manager, Brian Stearns. Let's talk a little bit about Team Rigid, what it means to you and what it means to Rigid. So let's start off with you, Ben, Matt. I think for us, like being a part of the team has been great because it's connected us with other woodworkers all over the country, all over the world. Uh, using the hashtag, hashtag Team Rigid is a great way for us to be able to see what all these other people are doing with their rigid power tools. And what does that mean to you, Brian? What, is, what does that help you guys with? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, pros and tool loyalists are using social media daily and they're sharing stories from the job site. They're offering tips and tricks to each other. They're meeting other folks in their craft. There's this resurgence of woodworking happening that you guys are seeing. It's really cool. So it's all about bringing the younger generation up and trying to find these. What I've also seen personally is the artisan movement's coming back, which in, in a large part is, is because of guys like you who are bringing the movement back and showing people. So have you seen a resurgence with the younger generation kind of coming forward and, and picking up the tools? Uh, we really have, and it's amazing being able to use platforms like Instagram and um, with companies like Rigid and doing the team Rigid. Uh, it's just amazing being able to connect to so many woodworkers, old and young, who are kind of all on a mission together just to bring back the art of handcrafted goods. How do people become a part of the team? It's easy. There's really no sign up. It's uh, it's it, you just do your thing as a pro. You share a photo from the job site. You use hashtag. Hashtag Team Rigid. It could be from any social media platform, and we're going to see it. Other folks are going to see it, and it starts a conversation. You have a question, you can use the tag. You want to share a photo, a tip, or a trick, or a cool technique that you use. Um, it's, a, it's just a great way to join the community together and experience uh, all types of different pros around the world. Well, see, and, and you had just talked about um, talking about the other team members that you're finding a, a, around the country. How does that? How does that help you with the work that you do? How does it help you? Uh, with the tools that you use every day. It's really cool. We, we learn things from each other all the time. And that's one great thing about the woodworking community is it's not as competitive. You know, it's like we learn things and we post ideas on Instagram or any of our social media outlets. And people learn from us. And I can be looking through Instagram and find something, a tip or a trick that I never knew of at any point that'll totally revolutionize the way I do things. And, 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 and without, obviously, without, without tooting Rigid's horn, um, which, you know, it, it's, it's easy to do, what I find amazing about Rigid is that whether it's guys like you with 75,000 followers or some guy that has 100 followers, Rigid is right there to talk through and give their support, whether it's just a, a little pump, a thumbs up. But I think it makes, it makes the person on the receiving end feel like someone's caring. Yeah, I have an amazing team and we answer any response in less than 30 minutes. And if it goes that long, I mean, we, we, we want to do it instantly almost. So it, you have 15 followers or 15,000 followers. If you're sharing a photo from your job site and you're proud of it and you're using Rigid, we want to acknowledge you. We want to we cheer you on. We want to show you that pride and want to thank you for being part of such a pro loyal tool, tool community. And, and, and speaking, speaking of uh, being supportive, um, I think your entire staff wanted to be supportive of you. So we're going to play a little bit game called Brief Encounters with Rock and Roll Greatness. Is that okay for you? <laughs> sure. That sounds great. Uh, okay, now it's, now it's fun. It, it's called Encounters with Rock and Roll Greatness. Let's begin with a little, who is Johnny Ringo? Uh, Johnny Ringo is a character from a great movie called Tombstone. Yes, yes, Tom, Tombstone, that's wonderful. And how many times did Johnny Ringo retire? And is there a chance of a farewell tour for Johnny You're Ringo? referring to my old DJ name. Am I? Uh, yeah, Am you I? are. Am uh, I? He, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's Brian? retired. Um, but DJ Johnny Ringo. We uh, actually, we, I think we should for our next. We do these dance videos when we reach a certain amount of followers on it. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. So it's sort of your your crescendo. Yeah. I think we got to bring DJ Johnny Ringo out. You so, do you do the dance moves. I'll do for the, the next music. dance. Let's do it. Yeah. So so Brian, as a as a semi-retired DJ, you're a big music fan. Who recorded Laundry Room? That would be the Ava Brothers. Exactly! And would you mind telling us your encounter with the Ava Brothers? Well, they're right here. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, they're from my hometown in Concord, North Carolina, and they're also um, on the side. They do a lot of woodworking and hobbyists, and I think they're fans of some of these brands that you've uh, 
spoke about today as well. Got it. Who's the band that said all things that I have done? The Killers. The Killers it is! Yeah. And let me ask you a question. Do you guys have any musical experience with where you're from? Because I know there's a lot of famous people back in Athens. Yeah, Athens has a, quite a few nationally known bands. Um, R.E.M., still see Michael Stipe around Athens all the time. So you have met the man? So I'm in a cafe the other night, actually, yeah. And you saw Michael? Yeah. Man, that is cool. Well, thank you very much. This has been Brief Encounters. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for Sons of Sawdust. Thanks to Matt and Ben Hobbs. And thank you for joining us here at Toolin' Around, a constructive conversation. We'll see you later.